the start of the second phase of my IVF journey. This morning, I got my blood drawn and also I got my ultrasound. And this afternoon, I also started with my medication. Basically, I'm preparing my endometrium lining or my uterine lining for my frozen embryo transfer this month. And I'm hoping that my body cooperates with all the medication that I'm taking right now. Good morning everyone! It's my second uh, monitoring for my upcoming frozen embryo transfer and I just had my blood drawn and right now we're going back home and um, around 8 o'clock we are leaving for San Jose for my ultrasound and I am so excited because uh, possibly next week will be my transfer date and we are going to Colorado again for probably we're going to stay there for five days and I'm just so excited I'm hoping and praying that this will work <laughs> now to San Jose and we've been you know we've been on the road for over an hour now and we still have an hour and a half to get there so we are going there for my ultrasound and of course to check my follicles they're going to check the thickness of my uterine lining because that's very important that's very important I have to make a, a certain measurement for my uterine lining for the embryo to implant to have a successful implantation and um, I'm hoping I'm hoping that uh, my uterine lining is supposed to be that the thickness or the measurement of my uterine lining you know supposed to be where it should be now because I've been taking uh, estradiol or estrogen pill for that and uh, like I this morning, I, I told you guys that we went to this place where I had my blood show and I was really, I'm really looking forward for the result of my progesterone and my estradiol and of course my, yeah, I think my LH, well because it's all, it's all depends on that result if this uh, if I'm going to have my transfer this month because if the if the result is not good they might cancel my transfer so I'm hoping that everything will go as planned so yeah right now we are driving and it's raining outside it's just um, I I love rain and my husband loves rain so enjoying this road trip from where we live to go to San Jose it's like over it's like almost three hours drive just one way and it's it's a long drive for just for just you know for my ultrasound and um, i know this is all going to be worth it someday so yeah we're enjoying this road trip <laughs>
for Dr. Ice, I brought some stories that I want you to ask my ultrasound. We'll see. So far, so good. So far, it's doing really great. I really, really like my doctor. So we just get back from my ultrasound clinic and we are in the parking lot right now and we just received a call from the CNY and you want to tell them what they said? Uh, they were happy with the ultrasound results. We're still waiting for the blood test results but the first thing they said to us was your transfer is scheduled for <laughs> Wednesday of next week which is a week from now. So a week from now, well. We're going to go fly in on Monday, Yeah. But a week from now we'll be in Colorado, Colorado. having the transfer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I am I am having a mix of emotions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know, but mixed mainly because we yeah. are still waiting for the blood results, so um, yeah. in the morning that will be the final answer, um, but we're optimistic. And, yeah, uh, okay. yeah my, progest my progesterone should be around 2. Lo less than less than, less than two, two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if it's higher than two then we know that it's canceled yeah. so that'll be an immediate I, answer <laughs> i don't want to be to be canceled but yeah i'm hoping mm -hmm. that my progesterone is slower than two mm -hmm. so we're waiting for that and probably we're gonna get a result tomorrow morning usually it, it always didn't we get the result the result the next day yeah mm -hmm. right and um yeah, so right now we we were going back home. We are going to drive. We're so right now we're we're in, in San Jose and we're going back to Fresno. Another three hour drive. <laughs> Another three hour drive. Hopefully, um, well, it was re really uh, rainy. It was uh, raining so hard. I mean, when we're on our way here, but hopefully it's not too much rain when we go back mm -hmm. and yeah and you, did you know guys that i really loved my um this place that we went for my ultrasound mm -hmm. oh they are really thorough the doctor oh my gosh mm -hmm. they are really sympathetic mm -hmm. really they give us a lot of information and they are really they know what they're doing yeah, they're, if you're anywhere near the bay area yeah. and you need ivf monitoring mm -hmm. we highly recommend med pixels in yeah. san jose they are really really good yeah mm -hmm. and uh, yeah i just have to flex that because i am so happy with their <laughs> how do you say that with mm -hmm. their um bedside manner yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this was it was great <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah we're going to keep you again keep you updated again next time next mm -hmm. tomorrow maybe <laughs> <laughs>